Hallo Deutschlerner! I have discovered an app that is quite possibly the best app for German learners. It is fun to play, it has a wonderful story, the animation is awesome, and most importantly, it helps you remember German. Today I'm going to introduce you to Der D Das Rockets by Speaksel. Several months ago I participated in a panel on Expolingua with some other language YouTubers. Through this event I came to know the creator of a site called Speaksel. There are several awesome things on this site, but the one that caught my eye was an app for Android and iOS called Der D Das Rockets. The number one complaint from German learners is that they can't remember the gender or articles for German nouns. This app aims to fix this problem with over 300 German words. When you first start up the app, you are greeted with a main menu. From here you can choose your vocabulary list, but first you need to watch or complete the tutorial. The tutorial explains the general premise of the game. The characters are called Joyermans, and they're from the planet Joyermini. They're under attack from the evil Grammar Nazo, who uses rockets made of words to attack the city. In order to prevent those rockets from reaching the city, you have to swipe in the appropriate direction to identify the gender of the noun. Swipe up for feminine, down for masculine, and right for neuter. In the tutorial, the words have the articles with them, but during the regular gameplay, the articles are gone. Before you join the official fight for each round, you have to be trained first. You see which gender each noun takes and what the English translation of it is at the top of the page. Once you have mastered them by swiping correctly the correct number of times, you enter the real battlefield. The main kind of rockets are called clonator, and they duplicate when you get them wrong, so if you get the article wrong several times in a row, it can become quite difficult. The first couple of levels, however, are pretty slow, so you have plenty of time to get used to the game and how to play, as well as the articles of the nouns. In each of the first several levels, you are introduced to a variety of different kinds of rockets. In addition to the rockets that duplicate when you get them wrong, there are three other kinds. Zeppelins are really slow, but you have to get three articles correct in a row. I originally thought that this would be the same word three times in a row, so I just swiped a couple of times before I realized that the word changes in between each swipe. The Robo Squid will cover the screen with ink if you swipe incorrectly. This makes it impossible to see the rockets, and therefore swiping them away is also impossible. Balloons don't do any damage, they just get in the way of other rockets. You have to swipe correctly three times in a row in order to get rid of them. If they make it to the city, they just bounce off the force field and go in the other direction. This makes them especially annoying. The most dangerous rockets, in my opinion, are the shooters. If you swipe wrong on these, they shoot an unstoppable rocket into the force field. A few wrong swipes on these, and the game is over. In addition to the rockets, there is a time machine in the bottom left corner. Here you will only see the articles. If you swipe in the correct direction enough times, it will charge this device. When you tap on it, everything in the game will slow down. This is super helpful when there are a bunch of rockets. At first, this game was incredibly easy. The higher the level, the faster the rockets are, and also the number of words that you have to remember. Since you're introduced to six words for each level, by the time you get to the last level in that category, you'll know 48 words, and they are all at full speed. I know all of these words, and I still struggle to beat level 8 in every single category. I also had a bit of trouble at the beginning coordinating the genders and the directions in my brain. Finally, after much struggling, I did beat the 8th level of body parts, but it wasn't perfect, so I didn't get a star. Because I can't handle failure very well, I went back and got all of the stars for all of the body parts category. One of my favorite things about this game is that the words build on each other from one level to the next. The words that you learn in the first level are in the last level of the category as well. They are spaced out so that you see the most recent ones more often, but the older ones still appear on occasion to make sure that you don't forget one set of words when you learn new ones. The categories of vocabulary included in the app are body, animals, work, house, food, city, nature, and mixed. The vocabulary in the mixed category doesn't really fit into any other category. Things like Beispiel, Frage, Anfang, and Angst. Once you have completed all of the levels in all of the categories, you can move on to the final four stages. These four stages include vocabulary from all of the levels in all of the categories. It tests your memory of everything that you learned in the entire app. If you are skilled enough to complete all of the levels in all of the categories plus the final stages, you'll be greeted with a screen that thanks you for saving the joy runs. It's one of the most satisfying things to see all of the stars lit up on everything, and yes, I completed this entire game just for this review. So what do I think? I love this game. Let's be honest, I didn't have to complete the entire game in order to do an app review. I did that because I was addicted to it and I had to finish it in order to feed my ego. This game is incredibly intuitive. 
the swiping is easy to grasp, and in no time I found myself saying the genders of the nouns as I swiped them. Of course, I do have a few complaints. The lower levels are almost too easy. Maybe it's because I'm no longer a beginner, but I found myself being a bit bored with the first couple of levels of each category, because the rockets were just too slow. My second complaint is that there are only 300 words. There is so much opportunity to expand this, and the last time that I spoke to the creator, he said that he had no intentions of expanding it beyond the current list of vocabulary. My third complaint is that the translations are only shown in the training sessions. I think it would be beneficial for the learner if the translations were shown when the rockets explode. This would add an extra level of learning, and it wouldn't be too distracting since you see them after they explode rather than before. Beyond those three minor complaints, however, this game is perfect. For 99 cents, you won't find a better app to help you memorize a ton of vocabulary and the genders in German. If you want to download this app, I have links in the description for the iOS and Android versions. And to answer the question that I'm sure many of you are asking, no, this video is not sponsored by the app maker. I'm not getting a commission for the sales on the app. I'm not an affiliate of Speaksel. I have no connection to them other than my love for this app and the German language. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!